every time you use uh, this form of writing, it's automatically just so fraught with kind of symbolism. It's a, it's a statement. It's, it's no, no longer just a vehicle to other ideas. It's so full of ideas itself, right? Yeah, uh, because some people, there, there's, again, it's all scattered. There's some that put a spiritual aspect to it where like each of these characters, like the Ba right here, if you notice, it kind of looks like an upside down heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. So some, some say that that represents the, the woman's um, vaginal shape. Mm -hmm. And the La is, if you see the La, that kind of looks like the male, you know what. And strangely enough, or maybe if it's a coincidence or it's divine, that the word for woman in Tagalog is Babae. Hmm. So it's sort of the ba, and the word for man is lalake. Hmm. So there's that saying. You know, so there, there's just a lot. I mean, hmm. because obviously you can't prove that, you know, because you just be arguing for days. But there's some people that strongly believe that this is actually um, has a direct connection with uh, our, I guess, traditional spirituality. Hmm. Um, and in that sense, some people take it very sacred mm -hmm. um, of, of writing it, mm -hmm. um, you know, just as much as writing the Torah. But obviously, the, the, there's no rules. But but for me, I just look at it as as a as a writing system. But I also kind of keep that in mind. Yeah. But um, there's just so many ways to look at it, you know, from a cultural aspect, artistic. Because you know, once you say it's artistic, you throw everything out. You know, I'm gonna write in whatever. You know, blood. All right, <laughs> all the rules go out the door. <laughs> is that what the, the way it is with art? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, yeah, it just seems like it. <laughs> there's also with Hebrew, there's associations with the letters, and the letters are are seen essentially as the building blocks of creation. Like there's this idea that the world was created through the Hebrew letters, and so they have all of these mystical associations with them, in addition to sort of. I mean, there's a more ancient Hebrew, which is basically what do you call it, pictographic? Like, yeah. um, you know, where the letter actually looked like the thing. So, like, mm -hmm. the letter uh, ayin, which actually still means eye, it looked like an eye. That kind yeah. of so, or it, I guess it used to mean eye, and then it came to just sound like the word eye, and that sounds like ah, you know. Yeah. Um, but That's similar to here because, like, the ka letter, which is kind. Of, Looks like an eye. They're saying that it's uh, connecting two uh, two sticks are together, which kind of makes sense. And you know, oddly enough, when you put ka in front of a word, it kind of denotes uh, unity. Like kasama means like companion. If you say um, another words like uh, kaibigan, that means friend. So it puts anything that starts with a ka more or less uh, means togetherness and unity. 